driveway back so I consider that you know a win uh, let's go take a look at it real quick all right so that looks good so here's one of the things I'm thinking about. This ditch follows the road, but it's not parallel with the building. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure what to do yet. They're all out and enjoying the nice evening here. It's still a little warm, but uh, it's starting to cool down. You can definitely tell that fall is coming. However, it's not here yet. It's still pretty warm. We had a cool spell, warmed back up. That's the way it goes here in Arkansas. Still got a lot of dirt to move. This tree had to come out, and it's unfortunate. I, I wanted to keep it, but right here is going to be a door if everything goes the way I think it's gonna go I'm gonna have a bay door right here that's where I'm gonna pull in and out of because it faces the house and I'll be able to uh, monitor it you know for uh, you know activity and uh, so but I got this so 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 because of that I'm kind of working some dirt over here to make a an approach up to there and that's where we're at right now so I've got Still got a lot of dirt to move, but uh, one good afternoon's worth of work after after work, and we've got our driveway back, which is always good. I still need to go wire up the uh, gate opener, and I will pro hopefully do that this evening, but we're getting there. That's going to do it for dirt work today.
I blew a hose on my power steering uh, pump. We got rain coming tomorrow at noon, and I was really hoping to have this dirt moved. I got a lot of it moved, but I still got a pretty good little jag of it to do. Man, boy, it's always something in it, man. Dang it. I guess I'll try to get that hose off there and see if we can't get a new one on. All right, so here's the situation. These looked like they might have been threaded, but they weren't. They're pressed on. And so they just twisted right off, right there. I think this is 3 8 tubing. So I'm gonna try to cut this off right here. And we're gonna use a flare nut and try to attach this thing. So let's see how it works, I don't know. All right, this is gonna take, we're gonna have to redo this, this ain't gonna work. Ran out of daylight. We're working on it. Under cover of darkness now. This is that 444 Vibratite, got it off Amazon. That's for hydraulic connections, for threaded flanges, or for, for threads under two inches. And it works. Let's use some more of it. All right, I got these hoses made. One is 18 inches, the other one's 24. Uh, I think, I hope that's gonna work. I think it will. Um, this end is gonna go on the flared connections that I'm making. I hope these work. These ends are going on the pump. They'll, they, they should work. So, all right, let's go, uh, let's go back to the tractor and we're gonna flare. I, I got one connection flared. Was, <clears throat> we need to flare the other connection and then we will Get after it. Okay, that's a good seal. Okay. There we go. There's both connections. Connect. I'm gonna connect these hoses to the pump real quick.
I think that's good. Here's what it looks like. It's not touching the frame down there. All right. Let's get some fluid in it and see. If those two connections don't leak, I think we'll have her licked. I don't think they will, but man, there's just no telling. It's starting to rain a little bit. It's about 9.30. And we're supposed to get rain going forward. Uh, but man, what a great time to be working. The temperature is right. It's not, the sun isn't bearing down on you. It, it's pretty nice, really. Uh, but anyway, let's get some fluid in this power steering system and see if we've got see if we've got steering and see if we've got any leaks. Appreciate you tuning in to another episode of How to Fix Your Own Mistakes, Take 47. And that was a chore. We should go check for leaks, probably. Man, I'm, it's gonna rain. I gotta, I gotta get all this cleaned up. Let's go check for leaks. We'll clean up our mess. And uh, we have to call it a night. It's getting late. No leaks. Well, I'll be dug on it. Ain't that a hoot and a half. By George, I believe we've got it. There's no leaks on any of that system. The flared connections working beautifully. And I put some pretty good pressure on this system. Uh, you saw those wheels, man. Them, and I was trying to turn a steering wheel, so I give it all she got. And uh, no leaks, so that's fixed. So <laughs> that's that's good I guess
right, well, here's where we're at so far. I got one, one little low spot right here, but that's draining really well. Not holding any water. Well, we're holding water right here, but that's because I dug it out. I'm getting that's where I'm going to put a retaining wall out of cinder blocks, and so I got my stakes in the ground there for a rough deal, and I got it all scooped out and. Then it started raining, kind of shut me down. I got to do some more cleaning out on these footers here. Haven't got to that yet. Kind of gives you an idea of the size of that tractor. That's a 14 foot trailer. That tractor is every bit of that. All right, so before I had about this much room by this footer not I mean maybe not even that much just a little bit now I've got to right here that's drivable all packed down and this rain will help it's already way solid we had a really good hard rain uh, you, you saw that and but not the the water drains out real well like right there's a spot where would obviously hold water and it it's just it's all gone we got quite a bit of rain soaked it right up which is good we needed the rain it was it was bad but this is looking really good and he's raked out probably need to pick up the rocks and smooth it up a little bit but we've come a long way this was this has a lot more slope to it now. It's going to be a lot easier to get the to mow. Well, you can see, you can see pretty. So this, there we, golly, top Patrick. So there's the footer right there, and then there's the slope down. Yeah. And that's just super, super good. You might be able to get an idea right here. The slope that's on it be a lot easier to mow, a lot easier to take care of. This, this, uh, Oh, this this slope going up here is a lot more gentle as you can see so I'm liking it I, I think I think this is where it needs to be and I'll work on getting everything smoothed up and we'll definitely go from there well All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, uh, if you want to. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.